There are a number of issues that undermine the social inclusion of people with loss of sight. That includes lack of accessibility to information, poor liaison with key organizations and financial pressures due to unemployment. While there are policies on paper intending to render basic services to them, the Namibian Federation of the Visually Impaired said social inclusion for people with disabilities is crippled by the slow implementation. Its national coordinators said the issue of disability was more of social care inclusion than a health problem. The society or the environment is the one which is disabling us. So for me to be unable to cross the robot, because of the robot is made in the way that I cannot be able to cross. So therefore, it's, that is not my problem, but the problem is with the robot. Mm -hmm. So we need to try to do things in the human rights-based approach. They have also taken issue with the unfriendly environment, especially around towns. Specific reference was made to traffic lights invented with sound signals meant to direct visually impaired pedestrians when crossing streets. Without sufficient visual information, visually impaired persons rely on sound or sense of traffic to know whether to cross or not, and this comes with a risk. Inspecting traffic lines along the Independence Avenue, we found out that the pedestrian crossing button was not functioning either, and when it's time for a pedestrian to cross, there is no sound signal of which direction to take for those with no sight. In addition, the pedestrian green light only lasts for less than five seconds. Secondly, when you come there, you don't know which side is the robot. So you can stand there because it's quiet, then you stand somewhere, later on you'll hear it ringing somewhere else. So when you run and get there, so the robot, is, the time to cross is over, then it's quiet. So you don't know where, where to cross. Currently, traffic light sound sensors do not seem to serve the purpose and the targeted group won the technique revised. I'm Lamy Hemingway reporting for NBC News.